Hi guys, my name's Reno and you're watching Status LARP. Well today I wanted to talk to you about how to create gameplay for other players. For example, you're at a LARP, you're not having quite a good time, you're just sitting around and you think to yourself, what can I do? Well, there are a couple of LARPers out there who can see that you are not having a good time. And if you're one of those people, here are some tips for you on how to create gameplay for others. Da -da -da -da. <clears throat> First of all, make sure your character has a secret. If your character has a secret, you can let people find out about your secret and that will create gameplay. There is something about this character that no one else knows, and you do. You can be the person to ruin their secret and tell everyone about it, or you could be the person that is trustworthy and, you know, make a friend. If your character has a secret, do not keep it to yourself. This is the f step one at having secrets at LOB, which is kind of weird because a secret is something you keep to yourself, but anyway. Make sure there's at least one person, one other person, who knows your character's secret. Because they'll be the one to create gameplay for you and the people they'll tell it to. Second, money. If your character has money, you can create a lot of gameplay. For example, you can bribe people. Pay them to do your dirty work. First of all, you don't have to do your dirty work yourself. Second of all, you can blame someone else when it doesn't work or goes wrong. And third, you are creating gameplay for someone else who wants to do that. Number three, look for people with certain skills. Your character cannot do everything. Your character might be a crazy good fighter, an alchemist or a magician, but neither of those know how to fix your armor. Find someone who can fix your armor up, fix your weapons, um, find someone who can find treasures or hunt. Find someone who has a skill you don't. Those people are the ones you need, and it creates gameplay. Then another point. Even though I do not support it in real life, betrayal is a big part of gameplay. If you have a friend in-game, and you're looking for some gameplay that involves a lot of others, betray them. <laughs> betray your group. Betray your friends. Betray the town's crazy man who asks you not to tell anyone about his secret and create gameplay by doing so. And last but not least, sharing is caring. If you have a plot item or know about a certain plot, find someone to share it with. Go to them, tell them about the plot you know and let them participate. Do not keep plot to yourself, unless it's personal plot and your character is crazy bastard crazy and doesn't want anyone else to know about it. Find someone to tell. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you know any other ways to create gameplay for others, leave it in the comments below down there. Subscribe and check my Instagram, my Twitter and my Facebook page. All links are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.